going on guys check this out check this out we have a dolphin that is ch chasing around some bait <laughs> that guy says he thinks that ran our specs off look all right here comes the dolphin again here's the dolphin what is that it's it's you were catching a few fish before he showed up? <laughs> they'll come back right there though. Huh? They'll come back right there. Yeah, they'll come back. Yeah. All right, all right. Y'all be perfect for coming. This right here is always. He's a YouTuber. Hello, how are you, sir? Hey, I'm playing with you on know, YouTube videos. I watch you? you all the time. There oh, you go. thank you. You guys <laughs> got a subscriber oh, right oh, here. Oh, <laughs> I'm making one right now. Oh, voodoo so. shrimp. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Voodoo? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. The tsunami. Tsunami, yeah. Shrimp, yeah. I see it. The only bad thing about them mm -hmm. is they don't hold it up. You know, they come apart. But you know what I started doing? I started putting Gorilla glue right here on the top uh -huh. where they come out. And you see how this one's holding up and stuff? And I didn't have it on this one. It's just sort of torn up already. Right yeah. I see them right there. Yeah. It looks good to me. Probably the next set of rock. They don't want to side that boat. What is going on guys? So we're out this morning, early first thing, started cruising down the beach in the four-wheeler um, to try to find, oh, 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 look, we got a dolphin coming in, dolphin coming in. Look at it, look at it tearing through the water, like jaws. Look, he's hunting, he's hunting. So we're cruising down the beach, we're looking for a good fishing spot by seeing if there are any birds or dolphins feeding. Anyway, I think we found a good fishing spot. There are a ton of, uh, I think those are mullet, just jumping everywhere. I'm still a little bit new to this type of fishing, but uh, it's just, I mean, unbelievable morning right now. Um, we're just gonna start start fishing from the beach. All right, so we've got three of us here, folks. We've got Mr. Chris, Mr. Home, Mr. Kirk, and we're just spreading out along the beach. I'll introduce everybody in a minute, but uh, priorities. We've got to fish first. I am so glad I woke up, if anything, just to see the sunrise. Even if I didn't fish, just that was worth it. <laughs> Look at all the fish jumping. That is so cool. You what? I am big, that's you, all, that's all what is that? Big old black group. Bitten in half, or bitten, had his tail bitten off. Some sort of, oh yeah, it's a big black drum. Oh, crazy. Giant dead fish, folks, he got his tail bitten off by a shark, probably. Wow. His tail's bitten off probably by a shark, I'm guessing. His, his tail's gone. Oh, something big, huh? Uh huh. Probably like, bl bottom half of him is missing. Oh, yeah, probably. More dolphins right there. Good. I'm good with this. Let's try it again. Let's do it. We've got porpoises out here. We got dolphins. I think those are the same thing. I don't know. Fish on. Oh, oh. Had one. Still setting the hook like I'm in a bass tournament. Need to slow it down. These speckled trout have such soft mouths. I'm not used to that. I've, I've slowed it down a little bit. Look on a little bit easier on them, but I need to go easier still. Oh, right in front of me there. That's cool. Got him. Got a fish on. No, I don't. I think he got off. Oh, yeah, I do. I think he's just small. It's just small. A little trout. Not a keeper, but... Whoa, when we got a dolphin right there, should I feed the dolphin the trout? This trout's pretty docile. I think he's kind of happy that he's out of the water with that dolphin around. Watch this. All right, guys, let's just see. Let's just see. I mean, I'm not saying nothing, anything's gonna actually happen, but when that dolphin pops up, we're gonna toss this trout right in front of him. Oh. He's going that way. Maybe we won't. Okay, well, I'll just let this trout go. I thought it would be cool to kind of feed a trout to a dolphin, but uh, 
I don't know where he went. Now here's a question. Are the dolphins good or are they bad? See, I was told they were bad because they scare away the fish. But like this morning, oh, I got one, got one. It's uh, they fish on. The way you know there are trout in the area is the dolphins are there because the dolphins are feeding on them. Oh, look at him right there. Oh, that's so cool. Man, this is amazing. I feel like I'm in Sea World out here. I think this is a keeper too. Oh, look, I got two. I didn't even realize it. I've got two fish on at once. That's a first for me, hooking up with two speckled trout at once. One little baby one and one big one. Oh, really? I don't know what a voodoo shrimp is, but... It's an artificial. Okay. There we go. Oh, guys, look at all the dolphins here. Look at that. Look at, look at this. Look at this. They're just chasing everything around right here. This is amazing. This is, this is just... Got him. Oh, miss. He got off. It's funny that they have dolphins chasing them and they're still feeding. Look at that. Got him. Fish on. Ooh, feels like a decent one. You got one too? Mr. Chris has one too, guys. Doubled up here. Oh, you know, I think I, think I had two on at once again because all of a sudden it got light there, guys. And I only have this little one on. I definitely had two fish on at once again. This guy's gonna be too small. There you go. Don't get eaten, buddy. I'll bet we have like six or so around us, guys, right now. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Oh, look at him. Look at him chasing. You see the fish jumping ahead of the... Oh, he went in for the kill right there. I think he got something. <laughs> got him. Fish on. Oh, that dolphin's kind of headed right for my fish. Hopefully you don't steal it off. Another little one. I don't have a measurement on this rod. What do you think? Because I got the inch. Uh, little bit, a little bit shy. A little needs bit shy. Right, needs to be right above, above this. Okay. It should be all about the same. My other rod, I put a piece of, a piece of blue tape on. Mm. Got him. Three and three. Oh, he got up. There's another one. Three and three casts, folks. There must be just a pot of them. I think these dolphins have them, have them all pushed right here. This is cool. Another little one though. Little, really little one. This is definitely a little bait for a dolphin there. Don't get eaten, buddy. Got him. Guys, you see that four in a row, four in a row. Either I've got two on or it's a nice one. Four casts in a row, and I've got a fish. Oh, this one, this one's gonna be close. Oh, I got two on. That's why it felt it. <laughs> that is cool. Thank you, sir. Do you ever have the dolphins come up and just take them right off your hook? No, I wouldn't put nothing past them. <laughs> He's close. He's very close. Put him in there. Yeah, he's above it. All right, sweet. Another keeper, guys. Five in a row, guys. Five in a row. Yeah, I bet I got two on again. All of a sudden, it got way heavier. <laughs> and, oh, this is amazing. And got two again. Two and two casts. Oh, and the big one dropped off. That was definitely a keeper. It's probably 13 inches or so. Dang it. Left me with a little non-keeper. Five casts in a row, though. Can we get six casts in a row? Got dolphins behind us now. 
Oh, there was a bite. Come on. Got him. Six casts in a row. Six in a row and big dolphin feeding right here. Whoa. It's a little intimidating being in the water with him. If they weren't such nice creatures, I definitely wouldn't be out here. Ooh, this one's gonna be close. Oh, and he dropped off again. Dang. Well, that's six in a row. Can we make it seven in a row? Let's see. I'm casting the exact same spot. Got him. Every time. Seven in a row. Let's see how long we can do this. All right, so my GoPro ran out of battery, so I'm still seven for seven so far. I've uh, put a new battery in. Let's see if we can go eight for eight. I told these folks here they could join us if they wanted to. They were sitting on the golf cart watching, and I think they've taken us up on it. All right, can I go eight for eight? Got him. Got him. That's eight casts in a row, eight fish. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Could I get the net for this guy just so he doesn't... That's a keeper. Yes. All right. We got a keeper, folks. Yeah, look, I'm barely hooked. I thought I saw it on the outside there. Woo! <laughs> there we rest. That's probably the biggest one of the day for me. All right. Can we go nine for nine? Got him. Nine for nine, folks. Nine for nine. <laughs> Two of them again. Oh, the little one fell off, and this one's probably too little as well. Can we go 10 for 10? Oh, right there between us. Oh, guys, I might not go... right there the fish activity is increasing we're getting bigger and bigger schools of speckled trout there and what's happening out on the other side of the jetty is there are even more dolphins and speckled trout and I think the dolphins were driving in schools of speckled trout closer into shore because we were fishing between the shore and the jetties and you just see the fish activity increasing greatly and after a while check out how the dolphins are just kind of waiting there you go release a fish I think she grabbed it again 
So the dolphins after a while stopped hunting the schools of fish around there and just waited for the fishermen to start releasing them. This is just amazing. And the little baby there just seems to be chilling. Like I said, I wonder if the mamas were bringing food over to it, kind of like a mama bird does. And it was almost every cast they were catching. You see a third dolphin pop up there, take the fish off the hook, and they were just throwing the fish out there. Again, boom, look, the dolphin was waiting for it. He hardly had to move. How much fun. Then I flew the drone over to Mr. Kirk and Mr. Chris, and you can see Mr. Kirk is reeling in a trout here, and the dolphins are right behind it, right behind the trout, but never once did they bite any of the fish we had on. It's like they knew it was hooked, and they knew that it was most likely coming toward them because we released like probably two thirds of the fish we caught. They were just undersized. And the uh, same thing here, the dolphins were just getting bolder and bolder and, uh, and waiting for, just chilling around us and waiting for the, the discombobulated fish to come in. There we go. Mr. Chris just threw in another one off and grabbed it. I mean, why hunt when you have fishermen just feeding you? And again, you see here, look at the schools of fish being driven around them. Like I said, there are way more dolphins, big pods of dolphins actually, on the other side of this jetty. And then there were the ones that were kind of, the smart ones really, that were hanging around us and just feed, feeding on the fish being thrown to them. Easy meals. And look at the dolphins going right between them there. After I look, the dolphin's looking right at Mr. Kirk. Like, you got anything? Got anything else? They really got so bold with us. Look, just coming up right to him like, hey, uh, so what you got? What you got for me? And then it gets so bad at one point. Watch this. So Mr. Kirk is taking one off the hook and the dolphin's are hanging around and he puts it in his basket. And the dolphin's looking at him like, uh, is, that, is that for me? And there's nothing. And I think the dolphin throws a fit. It's like, what the heck? Why was that not for me? <laughs> it was so cool. What an unbelievable morning. Look, there, there are even fish right here. And there's a needlefish. There's a needlefish chasing it. There's just all kinds of stuff going on out here. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That's, wow. <laughs> Guys, look, that dolphin, he knows. It's like it's dinner time. Oh wait, this might be a keeper. Okay, so one of the one of them you kept, and I swear the dolphin threw a fit. He sat there, he sat there, and he just streaked off. And he was mad that you kept that one. So you keep it? Oh yeah. Oh, they're gonna be mad now. <laughs> Got one behind us. I saw him on the drone. There are a whole school of them just hanging out behind you too. This one might be a keeper. Now these dolphins are going to start feeling entitled. Can I measure? I don't have a measuring on my... Yeah. He'll keep? Uh -huh. He went over. I'm not that close enough. <laughs> I saw him on the drone. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. All right, guys. I, I got a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good one here. Oh, I got two of them. Mm -hmm. Two of them at once, guys. Look at that little one. Yeah, and look. he come, He's coming around for supper. Yeah, guys, we don't have to measure this one. This is a good keeper, about 14 inches or so. All right. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Guys, two keepers in two casts. There are two keepers in one cast, I mean. <laughs> He's right there. Yeah, see, he knew we had a couple fish. Then they, they do, like, tear off like they're mad. They're mad we didn't feed them. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, just like that. If you keep the fish, guys, it's like the dolphins are angry. <laughs>
Got him. Right by those rocks. They're really stacked up right there. This one, either this is two or this is another good one. Oh, oh one of them got off because all of a sudden got lighter. I'm getting keepers. Yeah, it's like the bigger ones are hiding in the rocks. Boy, this is cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why they're big. Got one, two guys. It is. It's almost every cast. On the back side of these rocks, it's good. Y'all should start a guide service, fishing with dolphins. You could you could charge big time. <laughs> look at look at that. We got a little one here. All right, let's see what. Uh, see, look at look at him right there, guys. You see him? Just right there. All right, we'll give him to you. Yeah, we'll give him. This is a little one. You want him? There are tons of fish around here, but he's like, I don't want to chase mine anymore. Y'all just feed me, okay? All right, guys, let's do it. Are you going to swim over and grab it? I don't think he did. That fish may have that fish may have uh, been a little too sneaky for him. That fish was pretty lively. Got him. That's another good one. They're like the, all the big ones, I swear, right by the rocks there. Oh, he just spit up something. Spit up a minnow. Another keeper, guys. Oh, you got two? Mr. Chris has two. Look at this guy. He's like, uh, is that one for me? Or... Yeah, I see. He's, I can see his eye rotate down and look at me. He's like, checking it out. That is funny. <laughs> you ever had that happen before me? <laughs> no, sir. This is everything that's gone on today is new, new for me. <laughs> got him, <laughs> right by me, guys. Oh, I got doubles, and here comes Flipper. Yeah, Flipper, I got something for you. Look at him; he's just hanging right there. You guys see that? All right, all right, all right. We'll get this little one off here. On the, oh, the little one on the bottom got off. Hey you! Hey! 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 Here you go! He he got it! Look at look at he threw it in the air. Did you see that? He threw the fish in the air. <laughs> that is crazy! Hey you! Wow! This is better. Seriously, you guys could have guided fishing with dolphins tours. You could charge like a thousand bucks and people would pay it. Got a fish on, guys. Let's see what size it is. Feels pretty small. Oh, he's close. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Wait, there it goes. There it goes. Right there. <laughs> I think that the dolphin ate it as, I, as it was swimming away. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you could have Louisiana wild dolphin guided fishing tours. You're just, you're just part of nature. We don't have them in cages. We don't have them trained. Hey, stop scaring me. Every once in a while they scare you because they come up so close. What the? <laughs> oh, he's excited. He sees he got one. Chill. Chill, buddy. Yeah, he sees you have one. Yep, yep, that's that's exactly what he was waiting for. You threw it almost right in his face. He just had to <laughs> open his mouth and grab it. I told Curtis, I told me keep coming by, I'm gonna jump on his back like a bull. <laughs> well guys, we are headed back. This was uh this was incredible, incredible time out here. And what a catch. It's gonna be tasty. All right, guys, we're at a little supermarket here. I'm gonna go inside and buy some authentic Louisiana seasonings and stuff for this fish so I can use it for this cook part, also so I can take a little piece of Louisiana home. So let's see what they have. Hello, how are you? Good, good.
what do we want? Ooh, spicy. Huh. Wow. Some wowie sauce. I love this sauce. You know, I've never tried frying dill slices. Let's give it a go. Alrighty, my friends. So, I'm gonna grab a few of these specimens out of here. Appreciate you being my guide today, Mr. Homer. That was fun. Mmm. We're gonna fillet up a few right now, right this afternoon, and cook them up Louisiana style. Excellent, six, that should be perfect. All right. Do no more, do no more. It's been a long time since I've used one of these. Probably the last time I used one of these is actually when I came here. That knife is pretty slick. I like that. Cut out this little bit of stuff there. Something like that. That's it, right there. Excellent, appreciate it. Ooh, I got all the nice stuff here, guys. Whew, let me tell you folks, that thing got this done in a hurry. That's nice. I would carry one of these around more, but uh, kind of hard to carry one of these around on a hiking trip in the mountains. All right, so we're not having a big fish fry this afternoon. This is just going to be the sample, and then the bigger fish fry will come later when more people come, friends and family and stuff like that. But for right now, I'm going to try to make a kind of a genuine Louisiana meal here. So we'll see how it goes. I've actually never seen this kind of Louisiana kitchen fish fry. Um, just says season to taste on it. So apparently this is mostly just like flour and cornmeal, I guess. I'm gonna add some salt first because it said it has no added salt. The Tony Sasher's straight out of Baton Rouge seasoning, Creole seasoning. We're gonna add a, quite a bit of that to it. Nice. Mix it around a little bit there. I think it needs some more. There we go, that should be good. We're also gonna make some fried pickles, too. So, that should be delicious. Eventually just had to do the fingers, you know, get down with it, but there you go, nice little pile of fish. Then check this out. Mr. Homer got me all hooked up with his nifty little fryer here with fresh oil in it. And I just set it like that. It catches the cage. It's like a miniature restaurant style deep fryer and we're just gonna set all those in there we just lower the basket right in there and oops maybe i overfilled it oops my first time using this thing so for this particular one i've used one of these before but not and we'll let these cook for like i don't know six minutes or something like that in the meantime let's bread the pickles How are we looking? Ho 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 Looking mighty fine. I would say that's done. Oh, can I do it folks? There we go. Oh, hey. There we go. Pile of fish. Done. Oh, you almost escaped there, little fella. Oh, that looks and smells so good. All right, let's put a couple pickles in there. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever deep fried pickle spears instead of pickled chips and I thought this should be this should be just as good have a long nice spear like that put the lid on mm. what do you think shoo shoo what do you think do you like does that smell good 
I'll share some with you in a minute. Well, I'll let it cool down first. I think Shushu, though, kind of eats everything. You're not picky, are you? You're not picky at all, huh? Yeah, you're not picky. Oh, you remember me? Yeah, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah. This is as big as Shushu's gonna get every year I come here. He's the same size. Little miniature dog. Little sweetie, too. Yeah, you're a sweetie. Everybody loves you, don't, don't they? And finally, the fried pickles. Those, those look amazing. <laughs> mm. All right, guys, two things to keep in mind. First of all, this is just a sampling. Uh, we figured that today we caught upwards of 50 keeper fish and we'll have a big fish fry But of course there'll be a whole bunch of people there and a lot of people don't want to be on camera and all that So they were nice enough. They said why don't you fry up a few few fresh from the ocean? So I did that The second thing I'm gonna do is last time I came here a lot of people said how does uh, speckled trout compared with rainbow trout, which is what I'm used to eating and I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna it's been you know a year since I've had speckled trout so I'm gonna sample some of this and give you guys an honest opinion whether I like speckled trout or rainbow trout better. Let's pray. All right, which is better? And I'll, I'll be honest, because I know, I mean, you guys, I've, <laughs> I've eaten hundreds of rainbow trout before, but if this is better, I'll let y'all know. Mm. I also got here some wowie dipping sauce. Put a sampling of that right on the fish. Mmm. Mmm. Wowee. That's good. Here's the thing, folks. They're both so different. It doesn't even taste like trout. It's so different. There's really no comparison. Rainbow trout, especially when you catch them in the mountains, have such a unique flavor to them. And speckled trout in the ocean, totally opposite. I'm not going to say whether I like one over the other. Because they're, they're kind of in two totally different categories. Fried pickles? Fried pickles are good. Mm. They're really good with wowie. Let's see if Shushu wants some. Alright Shushu. Do you like my cooking? Do you like my cooking? Oh, he's licking it. He's licking it. Let's drop it on the ground. How'd I do? How'd I do? No. You know, let's try something. Ms. Belinda was telling me he doesn't like stuff with crust on it. All right, here's a piece with, with most of the crust taken off. You like that? Hey! I'll try not to take that one personally. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this epic day of fishing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.